the best place for yeah. not just the kids, obviously, because um, we've gone up there and we've done a few things. We've, we've had some fun. Yeah. We've had some fun, indeed. Yeah, so um, I think we've done things like, you know, I've gone up and played, you know, games of soccer with Noah, but I think even on um, first days. We, we tend to go up and have a, a couple of... Uh, Games of table tennis together and mm -hmm. those sorts of things. Yep. Uh, the last one we did, I think Nora and I were doing archery on the first day. Yeah, yeah, you were um, doing archery. Because they the, the activities, as soon as boarding commences, there's activities happening in the yeah, sea place. Yeah, and we've um, we've watched some adult dodgeball happening, which was pretty competitive, to be honest. Certainly was. Certainly <laughs> was. Um, that was... Yeah, insane. Yeah, uh, we got a little bit rough there at one a, point with the I, adults. <laughs> I think I remember on the Christmas cruise, somebody actually, one of the adults getting injured, actually going to. Yeah, I have a feeling There was a dislocated that shoulder or something. <laughs> they like, so can they, play rough in there. They can play think. rough. So uh, <laughs> it's a hard service. It's not grass. It's not a. It's not a field, fellas. So if you're in there playing dodgeball, just remember that. <laughs> Um, so, but a lot of the time, like it's a, a big double court size. I, I couldn't tell you the meter each, yeah. but um, but a lot of the times they'll actually halve it off. So there could be basketball down one end happening, and then there could be soccer uh, down the other end. Yeah, or or um, the archery and the soccer or basketball or yeah, any combination of activities. So, yeah. um, it's a it's a massive court. From memory, there's um, well, we'll put some footage up now, and you'll see there's uh, basketball hoops. Mm -hmm. um, there's, I think, like six, um, six all up in the whole complex, oh, sort of two across the that. sides and two at each <laughs> ends, and um, so there's all that sort of space. Like it's huge. So this is just what we're talking about the court right now. So that's sort of the uh, main indoor area. So it is actually netted right around. So obviously, you know, people can't fling balls up into the crowd up the top, but also um, when, up. Oh. Two, which is the key the key thing right it's this it's this excited. thing is two stories yes. there is two stories of activities going on here not just the court as deb mm. said but upstairs yeah so when i was saying you know with the net going right around it because up above the courts because you can actually stand up there and look down and um, see what's actually going on but because they've got lots of table tennis tables obviously we don't want the balls going down into the court and hitting people on the head constantly no it'd be quite funny to watch well, but could be funny to people watch. <laughs> but, yeah, so you've got the court. Um, so let's go. We're up on the top floor now. Oh. Okay, so I've said there's table tennis tables. There's air hockey Air hockey's tables. up there. So you've got a couple of um, a couple of those sort of like air hockey, which mm. is a bit of an extension and a fallout from the arcade. Mm. So the arcade is located next to C-Plex, so, which is paid. Yeah. So, and it's really the only paid part of of the cplex is either the arcade itself and arcade games or some of these paid for tabletop games like air hockey um, after that you've then got the the xbox area yeah so there's an xbox room um it's got two two tv screens or two projector screens uh no it's more than that it's two, it? both sides of the oh, wall have multiple sides. screens okay listen to him not me yeah so so there's <laughs> a, a, there's <laughs> three or four and again footage on your screen now but there's three or four screens on each side of the room mm. and uh it's set up as an xbox lounge so they um hand out the controllers in i think it's 15 or 30 minute um increments you have to return the controllers um to the to the counter in Cplex and then yeah you you take a controller out you go up you play for your your period of time and then you know sort of power cuts or whatever they do and and you have to bring the controls back so yeah so you can it, put your name down on a list because sometimes it gets busy up there so you you know you'll be allocated a time and then they'll say all right next session over and they'll call the next people who are in line I'll go down, grab their controllers, go play. I think it's 30 minutes. Yeah, I think it's 30. Yeah. 30 sounds all right. Um, yeah, so that that's just a whole other chill out type area that's in there. Yep. Um, up the top, what else have we got? Uh table tennis again. So you've got the two table tennis yep. areas. Um, you've got the air air table yep. games, and you've got that sort of that Xbox area. That's sort of the whole That's upstairs. pretty much up the top, isn't it? And then obviously all the viewing space. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. All right. So if we move um, let's come back down, down the and, bottom and, and talk. So uh there is food. 
Yes. Talk about food. The the one uh, of your favourite places. The the dog house. The dog house. Um. So there is a a hot dog. And it's not because he's in the dog house. I try and, I try and, I try to behave on a cruise, <laughs> but no, there is. So there is a um there is a freestyle Coke machine. So if if the kids mm. uh, all any of the family big kids as well um have the drinks package and you've got your freestyle Coke cup. Um, you can get your your drinks at the vending machine mm-hmm. there. They've also got this dog house where they do all sorts of different hot dogs. Yeah, like your bratwursts and your... Bratwursts and all these sort of things with your sauerkrauts or not. Normal Frankfurter type mm. hot dogs. And that's all completely free. And it's all, all yeah. included. This is one of the included food yeah. um, food options. And they do sell you... some soft drink cans, I think, up there as well if you don't have the uh, you know refreshment packages or anything. But... That's another little one. I think that's why the kids don't leave just as much because they've got their food all day. In they've got there food. As well. They've got drink. They've got everything. Yeah. And and the Cplex backs onto um, the, the it's at the back of the ship up top, and so it backs onto the outdoor activity area for Flow Rider and for the rock climbing, rock climbing and I fly. for iFly. Yeah. So well, let's know. come back inside. Let's come back. Yeah. All right. Come back in. Come back in. Activities on the court. <laughs> oh no! I was going to go to so where the doghouse is. Um, all the activities that happen around on that on that bottom level. Well, yes. So, okay, we've we have talked in other videos briefly about the Dodgem cars. So they're all lined up down the bottom when they're not being used. Yeah. Um, but they have certain times <coughs> of days that they'll bring them out um, and have sessions for those. Um, so obviously, Matt and I have had their their turns on the bumper cars and had an absolute blast. Yes. Um, again, that's free. Um, that's completely included. So bumper cars being a huge one. Um, along with that, what they've got is like beanbag toss games. They've got um, the large Jenga um, game. Yeah, all, all, all those. So that, um, yeah, so cornhole, yeah. Jenga, all these sort of family activity mm. kind of things that you can do. And they run competitions. So if you keep an eye... Mm. When you're tr- uh, cruising with Royal Caribbean, keep an eye on your app, you'll see that they're running activities during the day. And just outside the door on the deck, sorry, I'm going outside again, they they do <laughs> track um, track. the shuffleboard yep. and, and all those sort of things. So that's all set up in that space and the activities are sort of coordinated mm-hmm. out of the C-Plex with that crew. Yeah. So yep. um, something just to keep an eye on in your, in your app. And then there's a, there's a desk down there. So any questions you've got, they're always so helpful. Um, you can just go up there. That's obviously we. Sorry, what we said was where you can get your Xbox controllers. Um, but yeah, any other questions, they're more than happy to help you there. And they also that's the coordination point for the um, the the room, the escape room. There's an escape room. Oh yes, that you we can do. So it no. books out super fast. <laughs> super super fast. Super fast. So basically, as soon as you're on board, activities open. You need to be ready to jump on to your app and book a time. Mm. Um, people don't turn up and say so there is, there's sort of a turn up on the day wait list. Um, and sometimes you'll be lucky and get in, mm. but yeah. Um, I think that's the next one. We'll, we'll attempt to do that we'll on our next cruise. On our, our, well, yeah. we've got, uh, got a period of time on that next we cruise. Do. We're on there for a little bit, so right. we'll so, have a good chance yeah. of doing it. But um, yeah, so activities though, let's get to the activities on mm the court itself because we talked about some of the physical activities. Yep. We've mentioned the Dodgem cars. They are, they are, they are all physical, but this place is amazing because you get laser tag. So they actually set up like the full inflatable course. It was It takes up the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, absolutely insane. So laser tag. Yep. Absolutely amazing. Lots of fun. Mm -hmm. Roller skating. Yeah, that's right. Um, Which... Again, like with the the uh, the Dodgem cars, the sort of DJ comes out on a big floating arm, sort of into the middle of the the court yeah, space. So, so cool. it's really really cool. Yep. You have this um, this really kind of seventies esque <laughs> type, you know, experience. We're just showing our age or something here, maybe. Yeah, well, we're not that old. Some of us aren't that old. Anyway. Uh, yes. Anyway. So, um, so yeah, you've got the, the roller skating, you've got the laser tag, you've got the Dodgem cars. I am missing something. Yeah, I feel like we're missing something. There is um, something else that happens, but near the eye. I don't know. But anyway, 
Like we want to, <sighs> you know, if I think about um, what this place is like compared to some of the other ships that we've been on for entertainment for kids, um, for Noah in his age group, because he was sitting at that top end of the small kids group room and he was just not interested in being in those kids rooms being at that 11 um, in the last few that we've been on in particular. So um, having this space, it's just been brilliant. So, and everyone we, we talk to always compliments, especially the teenagers, I think, and that bit younger, they just absolutely love it up there and they get with their mates and they make friends. It is oh. a magnificent place yep. for kids in my view, 10 and up um, to, to better have a central point of hmm. contact they can they can arrange to meet. They they're in a safe environment. Yep. Not not completely necessarily supervised. You know they're not individually supervised, no, but, but they are. It's closed born. in. You're not out on the open decks or anything like that either. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, and no, it goes on generally as a, a single child. You know when we only take him a lot of the time. Yeah. Um, and he makes friends by day one, day two. The getting getting on the ship and straight up into table tennis. That's that's where mm. Noah goes. He goes to play the table tennis, or, or and yeah, he's met shoot, some great adults up there. Yeah, and, <laughs> and played and, with him and, and shoot some hoops. But <laughs> yeah. he, on day one, he does that just to go and meet people. Yeah, and yeah. that's how he makes his his cruise buddies. Yeah, that's exactly right. So um, that's that's the main things and attractions um that we. Have found in there. Yeah, and and look, I think the the big thing is the, the Cplex is a really unique um, kind of feature on a ship, on a cruise ship. Mm. It's uh, not something that uh, a lot of ships have. If you look at what we have here in Australia with P and O as our primary sort of activity ship uh, or cruise ship that's here, you know, with with uh, mm. Pacific Adventure and Pacific Encounter all year round. The bulk of the activities, whilst, yes, they have their kids' club kind of teenage rooms that have game machines and Xbox lounges and things, the the activities are outdoor. So you you buy the piano edge pass, for example, Mm. and then you can go and do the zip line or you can go and do basketball. It's on an outdoor course Mm -hmm. and all those sort of things. So... The great, the great advantage I really think, and uh, P and O uh, Royal have nailed, is the fact that this is indoor. Yeah, no, so it's fantastic. If you're cruising to cold climates, if you're cruising in bad weather, mm. you're not going to have bored kids, bored teenagers, because Ooh. there's still somewhere <laughs> for them to go, and there's still plenty of activities for them to do during the day. Yeah, so uh, Hunt, I think um, we've wrapped up We're the wrapped Cplex up. pretty much. Um, fantastic place to go. If you've got any questions, um, we will be heading on another Quantum's class ship in the next few months as well. So um, if anything we've we've not seen or you've seen, um, let us know. That'd be great. But thanks for tuning in. Um, please like and subscribe. We we love when you do, and we love that these videos can help people out. So enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Have a great one. See you in the next video. <laughs>